Hey guys, welcome back. You probably just watched the first tutorial getting started. Uh, this one will be about uh, getting ready to do some work. So to kick things off, just to show you how things look when you open up uh, your, your uh, main screen, uh, none of this will be here. Um, this will all be blank and this will not exist yet because this is an actual project that is completed. Uh, we'll just look at it for reference. So the first thing you're going to do when the when you open uh, Corsica um, will be to go to your project settings. You'll want to, uh, once you have your project settings uh, open, you're going to want to give your project a name. This will be the name that will show up in your uh, title once the HTML is created. You give your movie uh, a size. So this one is set up for... Um, an HD at uh, 1024 by 768 pixels. Um, I haven't put any sound in our project, but if you did want to default with some sound, you could put some sound in. Uh, we'll just jump right to what we've done. So there is a background uh, to our project, um, which we selected a background image down from your assets in pictures. So you would grab whatever uh, background it is, that image that you want, and pull it into, into uh, pull, first pull it into Corsica, put it in here, and then select uh, your image to be pulled into to the project settings. Uh, the second one is the start screen, which is once uh, your Corsica first starts to run, it's the first screen that the user will see after the Corsica um, logo uh, is presented. So our Corsica um, uh, start screen is actually this um, JPEG that was created in uh, Photoshop and was pulled uh, from down here in the Finder window and pulled into, um, into Corsica, the main screen. So we would have had a blank screen, uh, a blank page or a blank main area with only two images which are now being pulled into here. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to the second tab here called Export in the middle. Click on that. Uh, this is where you're going to pick your export location. Uh, mine is in my users on my desktop in a file folder called K2 Index. As you can see here, K2 and Index are created here. Um, you put it here so that once you hit that Save button, and you get that nice Corsica sound, you can come here and play it uh, and see what your movie looks like uh, as, we're, as you're building it. So you will do that quite frequently, and this is the reason we've set up this screen here. Click OK, and you're done. Uh, 